Hey, this is Michael Pavlovich, and welcome to ZBrush 4 Character Production 3. Leaving off from our last series where we created the Game Res Polygon assets for our cowboy character, we are now going to create UVs, textures, and finally finish the tutorials off with some quality rendering. To start this tutorial, we're going to UV our low res mesh utilizing three different programs. Just as when we were retopologizing in the previous character production video, I want to give you a number of options so you can see what UV solutions work best for your specific pipeline, or uh, if you want, you can use a combination of all three programs like I do. We'll start out in Hedis UV, where I'll show you the basics of cutting seams, unfolding and flattening meshes, symmetry, pinning UVs, avoiding overlapping UVs, and even packing your UV shells all within Hedis. We'll also show you many of these same techniques using Maya's native UV layout panel and UV layout tools, making sure that if you don't have access to Hedis, that you can still achieve similar results. Finally, we'll go into ZBrush and use our awesome Z plugin UV Master to give us some really quick UVs using a combination of poly painting and poly groups to help us fine tune exactly how we want our UVs to be laid out. We'll then use some low resolution ZBrush fiber settings to get the game res beard and eyebrow hair as well as baking off his stubble as a separate mask that we can use in Photoshop later. We'll bring in photo reference into Photoshop to create the eyes. And finally, we go into the texturing program DDo to create our final diffuse, specular, and gloss maps. To bake our maps, we're going to use a program called XNormal, which will allow us to bake a normal map, ambient occlusion map, and even a map of our poly paint that we did for our high-res sculpt in ZBrush. We'll also go into XNormal's tool section and create a cavity map that you can use for a number of your maps later. We'll organize our maps in Photoshop, and we'll do a cleanup pass in there as well to ensure that our maps are nice and clean to avoid texture problems further down the pipeline. Finally, once we have our game res mesh, UVs, and textures put together and organized, we'll hop into Moto for some final presentation renders. We'll go over things like lights, materials, render settings, shadow planes, alpha masks, and HDR lighting setups to help you create some really nice presentation renders for your final game res assets. This last character production video should give you a number of solutions for quickly and easily creating quality assets for your own custom character pipeline. <laughs>